All right. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe it. Once you know, the practice is coming on, we're already in the first day. You know, so I was telling the team, man, just it, it goes fast. So just enjoying, uh, enjoying showing up every day, being in the moment, and uh, enjoying our journey this year. Uh, proud of the team. It's been a great week of practice, a great Tuesday and Wednesday practice. Uh, really focused, great energy. A very competitive two-minute drill today to finish practice, and just just like how these guys have, have gone about their business. And uh, you know, looking forward to Saturday. Uh, super excited about being in the valley and and you know all these two classes of freshmen that we got that have yet to experience. Uh, you know what it's like in the valley, man. I, they're they're all excited, and, and I'm excited for them. I'm excited for our fans uh, to have the opportunity. To, to you know, see the Tigers play here in Clemson, and uh, it's going to be a special day. You know, I know uh, it's first responders day for us, and, and uh, you know, 9/11. Uh, just you know, so much uh, goes through my mind when I think about uh, 9/11 and uh, where I was, and what I was doing, and that whole day, the emotions of that day, and, and then all the weeks, months after that. Uh, so just so thankful for all the first responders and, and uh, we can honor them well Saturday. And then also just, you know, remember all those who lost their life, all the families, who just, just so much grief uh, in, in that horrific moment. Uh, but uh, I know it's going to be a great day here. And again, our young men are super excited about going out and playing and, and uh, hopefully playing, uh, you know, our best game. Uh, building upon that. So uh, with that, I'll take the questions. Okay, David Hood with Tiger Net. How did EJ do with uh, his thumb at practice yesterday? And is he still thinking he'll be able to go Saturday? He actually did great. He was great. Uh, you know, he's tough as nails and, you know, he's a little sore, but he, he you'd never know it. I mean, he, he, uh, he really, uh, they didn't have, they, they they have put him on some anti-inflammatory now, but originally they didn't because they thought they were going to do surgery. But uh, no, he was awesome. He said he's, he looks great. And didn't see any hesitation at all. I mean, he made some great catches. And you catch one from Big Cinco, uh, you, you catch one from anybody. So uh, that's that's good news for us. So uh, really excited that he's going to be able to go. And, and uh, you know, they've got him on a nice little brace that, that he can. He can uh, hopefully get through the season, and then the season's over, they can, they can fix it. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, I'm just curious, the uh, the depth chart this week uh, for backup quarterback, it reads Tyson or, ha or Hunter. Uh, didn't didn't have the or last week. Um, is it a pretty close competition between those two for the backup? I, I, I think that was just maybe an oversight or something. I don't know about okay. that. But he, yeah. He's uh he, he's he's the backup. That's accurate, Trevor. That's a that's a legacy typo from the original media guy. That's on me. Okay, gotcha. Coach, um, go ahead. Hey, yeah, Deb. I'm, pardon me if you've already talked about this the last few days, but Brzee, uh, just curious what you saw out of him and and what impressed you uh, with his ability to sort of you know, with Tyler not being there and also fighting through the injury and also sort of the more technical aspects of what you saw out of him Saturday? Night and day from where he was this time last year. You know, last year he was kind of a big old dancing bear and just played high. And, you know, he was violent and all that, but just so much to learn from a technical standpoint, precision in what he was doing as far as our games and, and twists, et cetera. Really knowledge of, of you know, protection, and uh, block recognition, all those type of things. He, he's just, he, he's a baller. Uh, he's a problem. I mean, <laughs> he was amazing. He played great uh, and it got banged up. Same thing, came right back and uh, just had a, had a had an awesome game and, and an incredibly physical game against a great team. Uh, I mean, truly a playoff type of matchup. Uh, two really talented teams, and man, he he played uh, his best game, you know, in my opinion, since he's, since he's been here. 
Dabo, this is Matt. Is the plan still for Justin to spend the majority of his snaps in the slot, or is there any chance of him moving outside and playing more outside some? Uh, we can put him anywhere. You know, we can game plan Justin anywhere, but he's he's our starting slot, and, and uh, you know, going to be going to be amazing. I mean, he's you know, there's there's only one other guy that I've been around that can that can cut like him, and that's Renfro. Uh, I mean, he's special when it comes to his his change of direction, his lateral movement. I mean, he's he's incredibly unique, and uh, he, he, he's. Really, the only other guy that, that I've seen that can truly cut like like uh, uh, like he cuts, you know, I mean, he is. He's, and that's what's going to make him such a great player um, because he can really truly play anywhere, and, and he's got a great length. So, uh, but we put him all over, you know. We'll, he'll he'll game plan. He'll be a guy that'll be that'll be everywhere. But as far as just you know, starting spot, that's that's where he'll be. And, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. You'll see him as the season goes to the field, in the slot, in the boundary. He'll be all over the place. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor again. Um, uh, apparently, Georgia did not test for COVID uh, on Thursday or Friday after their, their trainer was positive. And, and now uh, Kirby Smart says they're, they're having their highest spike of, of positive cases. Uh, they weren't required to by the SEC. But I'm just curious, what, do, do you all still test regularly, even though most of your players are vaccinated? Uh, we, we're not testing the vaccinated players, uh, but we test the unvaccinated three times a week and we test the staff as well. Uh, every other week, that's the policy that we have. Anything else for coach? Uh, Dabo, just kind of sticking with that, but a little off subject. Have you guys had any issues from, from the Georgia game or did, did you have any concerns with the COVID stuff with them? I mean, there's always concerns, but no, we haven't had any issues. Debo, yeah, Larry again. Um, just curious, uh, Punter Rayburn, I think as of last week, maybe you said he was getting some work at tackle as well. Just curious for where he is and what you're sort of anticipating for him moving forward. Yeah, he's kind of our, uh, he's kind of our putty guy right now. Uh, you know, really feel good about what he's been able to do, the improvement that he's made. Uh, he's kind of on that verge of really taking another step. He really just needs to get some experience and, and get, you know, uh, a lot of playing time this year, and I think he will. Uh, but he's, he's, he can really play all five positions, and uh, he's kind of unique in that way. He's a big athletic kid, and he's strong, and he's got, he's got good functional knowledge. Uh, so he's playing everywhere. Coach, it's Trevor again. Will, uh, will, will Jacoby Ford and some other former players be there to, to celebrate CJ on Saturday? I I do not know. I'm sure there will be uh, a great group, I'm sure, that will be there. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. What a cool moment uh, for CJ and, and, uh, and a cool moment for me just to be able to, again, have a front row seat to his entire journey. It's, it's, it's special. Uh, It'll be a cool moment with his mom and Daisha and, and uh, you know his whole family being there. But um, I don't know uh, who all is going to be there from a player standpoint. Hey, Coach, it's David again. I was listening to, to Buddy Pugh a little bit ago, and he was laughing and saying he expected a murderous defense and uh, for a, a bunch of mad Tigers. But, you know, you touched on it a little bit earlier. You know, kind of what has been the mindset? Has it been kind of a – a grim resolve. Has it been mad? You know, what have you seen out of these guys? Back to work. You know, if we if we were one and zero, it wouldn't have anything to do with this Wednesday. We 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 got to go back to work. Zero you know, and one, you go back to work. I mean, it's a long season. We got it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it's one game, and you know, listen, I, I'm super proud of our guys. I've, I've there's been a lot of times that we've won the game, and I've been a very unhappy coach on Sunday and Monday with our guys. Uh, but we made mistakes. Uh, but these guys, man, the, the, the big things that you got to have in place to really be special, man, those things won't full display. And, uh, and then seeing how they responded. And it's just who they are. I mean, this is, this is a special group. This, this has a chance to be one of the best teams we've had. I, I don't have any doubt about that. This is a, this is a great, uh, a group of guys that really care 
incredibly talented. Uh, they're just going to get better and better. And, uh, you know, in, in the end, when it's all said and done, I, I think this bunch is, is going to have a really special year. I have a uh, question about Makuba. Just curious, how rare is it for a freshman not only to, to, in his shoes, not only to know what he's doing, but in that type of game last week, such a physically demanding game to, to, to be sort of right at home in that respect? Super rare. I mean, very, very rare. You don't see that very often. Uh, especially at that position. That is a very difficult position to play. There's a lot of, a lot of nuances, a lot of knowledge uh, that goes with it. Thankfully, he's been here since January, but even with that, I mean, it's a lot. Uh, but he is incredibly gifted, uh, explosive, uh, excellent tackler. But, but his, his, his football knowledge, his ability to grasp it um, uh, really makes him unique. It's super rare, super rare. You know, just like a quarterback coming in as a true freshman, uh, super rare. Uh, or an offensive lineman as a true freshman, that's very rare. Um, you know, so he's, uh, he's going to be a great one. Take two, three more for Coach. What have you seen out of, of DJ this week? Obviously, he, he took a lot of the, the blame for the loss, and some of it probably wasn't his fault. What Have you seen him respond? Back to work like like any champion does, you know. Just go back to work. You own it, and you grow from it. Uh, get your eyes out of the rearview mirror, put them forward, and go go attack what's next, and apply the lessons that you learn. Um, and that's that's really it. I mean, he's this guy's this guy is a is a special special guy. He's a special player. He's a special person, and uh, nobody cares more. And you know. We're, Two and a half fours there. He didn't play very well. But man, he responded. He responded in a tough environment and finished really well. We just, you know, once he got going, we didn't play well around him. And um, but but he just showed back up and he was one of the first ones over here Sunday trying to watch the tape. And, and uh he's had a great week of practice. It's like just like any great competitor does. You pick yourself up, go back to work. Hey, Dabo, Alexis from the state. Um, going back to CJ, yesterday he talked about his grandma a lot and the impact that um, she had on his life. Obviously, she passed away by the time he got there, but what kind of stories do you remember him telling or, you know, sayings? Do you remember him kind of recanting um, that she told him or values that she, you know, impacted on him? Well, I just think that, that she just had a huge impact on him, you know, as far as the type of man that he grew into be is, you know, his, his manners, uh, you know, how he treated people, how he responded to things, uh, just how he went about his business. You know, I think she kept him humble. Uh, and, uh, and I think she instilled uh, the thirst for education in him. And that's something that he always talked about was, you know, his grandmother really wanted him to graduate. She wanted him to go to college and get a degree and, that was one of the things he talked about when he decided to come back his senior year. It's how important that was, uh, you know, to him and a promise he made and the example that he wanted to be for so many other people. And uh, so I, I just think she, you know, shaped him um, in numerous ways uh, from, again, just the character that he has uh, and, and the type of man that he is, he has become. We'll take one more for coach. Hey, Coach, it's Trevor again. Uh, you put Jack Maddox, uh, the long snapper, on um, scholarship a few weeks ago, and, and sure enough, he came up with the, the big fumble on Saturday night. Um, how good was it to see him uh, going out there and earning his scholarship? Yeah, he's awesome. And, uh, you know, he was actually on scholarship last year, too, uh, and just really proud of, of Jack. I mean, he's done a phenomenal job, and nobody knows his name. That's where I want people to learn his name. I want them to learn his name because he's getting a fumble recovery. Uh, other than that, he's just kind of, you know, laying in the weeds and nobody ever, you know, he, he's in and out of the program and nobody knows who he is. Uh, that's, that's what you want in your long snapper. And, uh, but really proud of him. He's, he's such a great teammate. He's a great ambassador. He's smart. He's getting his MBA. Uh, really proud of him. Really proud of him, the type of teammate he is. And that was a huge moment.
huge moment for him. All right. Thank you.